Over the past week or so, I've done some upgrades to the SolSilva DIY CNC machine, primarily the dust collection part of this unit. This was the original piece that I've had on here for a couple weeks. This came off of Thingiverse, and it's a wonderful part, holds the Dremel really well. And then I designed two more pieces in Tinkercad. We've got the dust shoe on the bottom, and then the shaft on the top. As far as the shaft goes, it bolts down behind this piece. There's a part on the top and a part on the bottom. And it matches where the holes are. And that holds the vac, <clears throat> the vac hose. And then the bottom piece is the dust shoe. And it took a few tries to come up with something that I liked here. It's a pretty simple part. It's got an opening for the end mill. And then a canal or an opening between the top and the bottom. Goes along inside, and there's an opening in the bottom of the shaft in there. For this piece here, the shaft goes up to about here and holds the hose. Then this fits in here nice and tight. 3D printer did a great job. Hose goes around here and up to the 3D printed separator. I tried a bigger bottle here. I put a two liter bottle on, but it was it was so thin it kept crunching in on itself. So that's something I want to work on. But this holds pretty well. These are just a few pieces from the tests I've done on here so far. And then the hose goes down and connects up with the auric on the floor. I've also been doing a lot of testing to get this dialed in and we're pretty good right now as far as being square. When I first started out with some of these pieces we were getting some trapezoidal kind of interesting looking pieces and what that came down to was the two X's and not having this perpendicular to the sides. And the nice thing about this design is if you free up the steppers, turn them off, what you can do is tune one side while the other stays where it's supposed to be and then tighten down all of the all of the bearings and once you get that set it holds really well squares are nice and square and the circles are looking looking good as well another change I did this week which may seem counterproductive was replacing the couplers with the old fuel line hose. The problem I was having was the spring action on these guys was just too much. And these are very springy units. This was a thinner one and it's good for flexing side to side but the springiness from this I could easily pull each shaft a couple millimeters each way or I could push on it and it would just accordion back and forth. I tried a bigger coupler and had the same problems. So for the x-axis there's just no there's no motion. This doesn't move at all. Same with the y. There's no flex coming back and forth. And to show the difference for the z I've not replaced the coupler yet. This is still using that aluminum coupler and you can see the spring just by pushing down a little bit it really really moves. I'm not as concerned about the Z but the rest of this was just moving all over the place. The next major change I've done to the system here is switching over to a motion controller. I've seen these for a while. They used to be very expensive units and something that was out of the range of what I wanted to play with. But I came across this UC100 and they're about $100, $115 and they really make a nice a nice transition from the computer to the steppers. It smooths out the sine wave, much quieter, better control, and you can plug them into a USB port on any old machine. This is an old laptop I used for work years ago. This is about 12 years old. It was sitting on a shelf and we pulled it out and loaded it up with mock and it works really really well. 
So here's our cheap pendant here, joystick controller. Now the motion controller works very, very well. One thing to keep in mind, the really cheap controllers that are on eBay that are advertised as the UC100s don't work. Trust me on this. I got stung buying one. So if you do go the motion controller route, those UC100s are really, really nice. So we're moving along. The next phase is actually to start making some projects on this and see what we can create. Thanks very much for taking a look. Thank you.